everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen, I post videos twice a week and today I'm going to show you how I dye my hair. Oh. Today I'm going to try a new hair dye that is similar to my other one but it is a lot stronger. So I normally use the Coniston Perfect Special Blonde in the shade 1289 but today I'm going to be trying the Special Blonde 1296 in the shade Sandra Violet. Um, so this is what the box looks like. It just it looks just like the other one, but it is just a different shade. If you watched my last video, I will leave it linked down below. But it, I, that's what I normally do to. That's how I normally dye like my roots and stuff. As you can see, my roots are very dark at the minute. You can see there is a lot a very clear line of a dark ashy blonde that looks very brown. Um, to me anyway but I have got about that much root um, that needs dyeing so I thought I'd try this new one seeing everyone really liked my other one um, my other hair video so this is by Wella if you didn't already know and these are off Amazon and then I use the Wella developer which I will leave a link down below as well and if you haven't seen my other video please make sure you do if you want to try a different shade and I'm going to see how this one reacts with my hair today so I'm just going to get straight into the video and off we go so just before we begin this is what my hair looks like outside people asked what my hair colour looked like in the natural daylight and this is what it is it is more like of a light ashy blonde but it does look brown compared to like this hair colour here my whiter blonde so this is just what it looks like way to dye your hair is to leave your hair quite greasy just thought i'd let you know before we start so the method for using Wella special blonde is one part color to two parts developer so i will use 30 ml of color with 60 ml of 40 volume which is 12 percent developer try to put this on carefully not overlapping too much onto previously colored hair i have never used this color before that i'm using today the color is 1296 special blonde called sandra violet and i'm hoping for a clearer white blonde than my usual 1289 color but we'll have to see what the result is if successful i may change my shade to this one i am hoping that it doesn't turn gray if it does i'll have to do a lemon juice and conditioner mild bleach wash to remove any gray completely cover your roots or hair if you're doing a full head or leave it on for an hour from when completely covered in colorant. This color contains a toner which only works in the last 10 minutes of development time, so don't wash it off early or you might have yellow tones. had the hair dye on for an hour I had cling film wrapped around it and then I've just taken it off and as you can see my hair is looking very pink on top so I am going to go wash it off now but I thought I'd just show you that it does have the word violet in it for a reason but it still says it's a blonde colour um, so I am going to go wash this off and see what the results are so I will be back in a few minutes okay so I've just got out of the shower and my hair is just wet I thought I'd just show you what the colour looks like. So the pinky purpleness has gone, thank God. Um, and it has left this really nice blonde that's lifted that really dark ashy blonde slash brown that was there before. So I'm just going to go dry my hair and I'll show you what the end result looks like. Okay, so I've just dried my hair and I am very happy with the results. I think that it is like a really nice colour match and it matches to my hair down at the bottom very well 
I think my hair feels soft, it doesn't feel really frizzy or damaged or anything like that. And I actually really love the colour that it's turned out. I did start to panic a little bit when it was going a bit pinky. But no, it has washed out and it seems to be a really nice colour match for the rest of my hair. So, and you can see that there isn't any brassiness. It is just a lovely colour. I've just turned down my lights a little bit so you can see a bit better. So there's no really purple bits or anything like that and it is a really nice colour and it does make my hair feel really really shiny so I am very happy with how my hair has turned out and I do really really love the colour so that is the end of today's video I hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time bye